All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video back with another Dokkan battle video. So Global just got a data download about 30 minutes ago and we now have the official details for the Global first, at least for 11 days, AGL Rose Extreme Z Awakening. So in today's video, we're gonna quickly go over all the new details and then have a little discussion about how good I personally think he is, at least based on my initial impressions. All right, now real quick, before we jump into it, a big shout out to uh, RockmanExe123 on the Dokkan subreddit for posting this. And why don't we just jump right into the passive here. He gets attack plus 100% plus extreme class, key plus three, and attack plus 30% at the start of the turn. And then he also gets defense plus 30%, which e with each attack received up to 100 and 80%. His new super attack greatly raises defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and greatly lowers the enemy's defense. And those are pretty much all the new details for the Rose Extreme Z Awakening. And I gotta say, just based on the limited amount of time I've had to process this, I think it's very good. I think he's a very, very good EZA. I'm definitely satisfied with this. And it's pretty much exactly what I expected. Like, I expected him to, you know, get more attack. He gets up to 130% attack here, but not much more. I expected him to be a bit of a better support. He now gives extreme class key plus 3 and attack plus 30%. And I did expect him to get more tanky. Maybe not quite this tanky. Like, this dude's going to be really, really good defensively, man. Up to 180% attack, uh, or sorry, defense after taking 6 hits and also greatly raising raising defense on a super attack, he's going to be a defensive juggernaut. Like, on most events, he's going to be taking supers for, you know, like double digits after supering himself and after taking six hits. Um, I'm excited to test him out, obviously, on some of the harder hitting events, like the Legendary Goku event, Super Battle Road, and all that stuff. But uh, just on paper, he looks very, very solid, and... I mean, of course, from a damage output perspective, it's not going to be as impressive as some of the other EZAs we've seen. Like, he's not going to be doing like four, five, six million damage, but he's going to do some good damage, some respectable damage. And then, of course, he does a little bit of everything else. He's a good support. He's a great defense, defensive unit, a great tank. And uh, I like it, man. I like it. I mean, we've talked about this before, but they had to kind of make this guy more supportive and more defensive as opposed to like a offensive juggernaut like they couldn't have given him like 200 percent attack or anything like that because there's still the int lr rose that's coming up on global for the five year anniversary and the int rose is already available on jp and they had to make this guy like good in a different way aside from damage output because they obviously still want people on global to um summon for the int rose when that comes out and uh, he is, like, good in a different way. Like, I would, you know, I could see people running this guy actually over the LR because as good as the LR is and as good as, you know, his damage output is, this dude, I think, is actually a better tank, right? It's actually better defensively. So from that standpoint, I think this AGL Rosé will actually be better for the LGE or for Super Battle Road or any of those events where you need a more defensive unit. If you want just pure damage output, obviously go with the LR, but I really like what they did with this Rosé here, man. Like, it's a great EZA. I gotta say, it's a really good EZA. It's not like outrageously busted. I don't think it's like, you know, Fizz Vegito Blue levels, but I didn't really expect another EZA to get to that level anytime soon. And uh, this is perfect, in my opinion. So there you go, guys. That is the AGL Rose Extreme Z Awakening coming out on Global in about uh, four hours from... Actually, three hours. In about three hours from now. And then on JP in about 11 days. It's a bit of a short turnaround from Global to JP. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. I already, you know, spoke my mind about it. So I'm not going to say anything else. But... <laughs> That's the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. 
I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.